and welcome to Online User Training for Enterprise Vault Cloud. In today's training, we'll discover how to export a user list inside of the Enterprise Vault Cloud Management Portal. Now, there are two prerequisites to complete today's training. The first is that you have access to a supported browser. Now, a list of our supported browsers can be found on Veritas.com under our support section under Enterprise Vault Cloud's compatibility list. The second prerequisite is that you have an administrative level account with either system administrator and or account manager access rights assigned to it. Now this level of access can only be assigned by another administrator inside of your organization and cannot be accomplished through today's training. Okay, so assuming that you have all of your prerequisites out of the way and you've signed in, this is what you'll see. This is the Enterprise Vault Cloud Management Portal. Now, today we're gonna to start by exporting a list of our users. And to do that, we'll first need to go to the account management node found here on the left-hand side of the screen. If I click on account management, this is what I'll see. It's an alphabetical list of every account that has ever been provisioned inside of my archive. That would include those accounts that are and are not accepting email, meaning they're either active or inactive accounts. You'll be able to see a total count of all these accounts here at the very bottom of your screen. Now say I just wanted to export this list, every account that has ever been provisioned inside of my archive. Well, I can do that by clicking on the export to Excel button in the center of my screen. Once I click on that, I'll be able to open this in Excel format. Once I do that, this is what I'll see. This is my entire list of every account that has ever been provisioned inside of my archive. Now, some of these headers are pretty self-explanatory, right? Like email, role, last name, first name, and etc. There are some specific columns that we should talk about. Is archive means whether they're archiving yes or no. Is PA allowed means whether that user has access to personal archive. Is DA allowed means whether they have access to discovery.cloud. Is mobile allowed means they, we could access personal.cloud via mobile. And then other are headers here, including chat or archive and whether that's enabled or not. Now you will notice that there are lists of alias accounts that are associated with these primary username and email addresses, meaning that this email address and those aliases will be all archived under one account. That's great, so I have a list of every account that's ever been created inside of my archive, but say I wanted to be more specific. Uh, for example, any account that has been disabled by one of our automated provisioning services, whether it's Office 365 provisioning or CloudLink provisioning, will have its username renamed to dash disabled on and then the date and time that user was disabled. Well, you can search for those users and just get a list from a specific date range. Or you could be more granular than that. Say you wanted to export a list of just everyone named Chris. Well, you can do that here as well. So you can search for people named Chris. Run our search. Here we are with every user that's ever been named Chris. We can export that list. And if we open up that list, you will see only users with Chris in the name. This would apply to any criteria that you search on and export. Another great feature that you might use and export on is conducting exports based on distribution lists. If you want to see who's been provisioned as part of a distribution list, well, underneath our custom filter section, you can find distribution lists. And every distribution list, if I clear out Chris, Every distribution list that has ever been provisioned inside of this archive will appear underneath our distribution list section. If I just wanted to see ev.cloud users, I can apply a filter and there it is. I can also export this list just as easily as searching for the name Chris. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you ever have any questions about Enterprise Vault.cloud, you can always reach out to our 24 by 7 by 365 support line, or you can go to Enterprise Vault.cloud's support section, or even help in the upper right hand corner. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.